everyone. Today I'm gonna explain several、um, topics from Quiz Ten, and then which is the beginning of Chapter Fourteen. Okay, so let's start from the first topic. Okay, so basically you need to be able to differentiate. If I give you a chemical formula, you know that's a bronzolauric acid or base or hyaluronic acid or base. Okay, so then you have to go from the basic definition. Okay, so the definition for bronzolauric acid will be that is. And、um any materials right has a proton or has an H okay so then could be considered or、uh, could be potentially um bronzolauric acid okay so a proton donor okay so proton donor that will be a bronzolauric acid uh acid okay as I just mentioned right any material has if it has an H in its chemical formula right. Okay, so that will be at least something you should look for, and then again, it has H, but you also have to see if that H could be donated, right? So that's what we meant by um potentially. Okay, so therefore now let's look at it. Okay, so for the choice A, choice A, you go oh this is a bunch I don't really know. Okay, but you know nitrogen, right? As we said from. Uh, earlier chapter. Okay, so from the previous study, we know nitrogen likes to form three bonds and then has long one long pair. Okay, so we all know about this, right? So as NH three, right? Okay, so this is something we know, and then that's a a basic molecule. We all know about the Lewis structure. If you look at this, oh, okay, so I have a three. I have a three of CH three. So that means if you swap, right, all these three H's, okay. With CH three. That's what that is, right? That's what this this part of the chemical formula, right? Okay, and then you also have H over here. Then go oh, I think I know what to do, right? That's will be sharing the lone pairs, and now you have a positive charge. Okay, so that's what that is. If you wanna do right, so this. Okay, so that's what we have at the chemical formula. Okay, so in this case, okay, in this case, then you probably recognize. This H right over here, right? This H right over here, could be potentially right. We could donate it. Okay, so then again for choice A, then it fits into the definition, right? It has has a、uh, could be a proton donor. Okay, and then so choice A is good. Okay, now let's look at choice B. Okay, choice B, this is acid. Okay, so this H, this H, we could donate it. Okay, so. And then definitely again, as you go on for orgo, then you will see this is right. This is carboxylic acid, and definitely that H is we could donate it. Okay, so that fits into the definition again. Okay, and then next one that's something we're familiar with, right? So H F hydrofluoric acid, definitely this H we could donate. Donate that. Okay, so that's good. Okay, and then the next one we're also familiar with, and that H could be donated as well. Okay, so that's why for this question, all of them are, um, uh, bronze bronze laureate acid. Okay, so again, the key is that you know the definition. You could use the definition to look at the options and then decide. Okay, then what's your choice? Okay, so that's for the first question. Okay. Quite easy, and then of course, on the other hand, if we, if we talk about bronze lauric base, I'll just write here quickly. Okay, so if it's the bronze lauric base, what's the definition? That will be proton acceptor. Okay, Ex acceptor. And then, how do you tell if a chemical formula could be a proton acceptor? Lone pair, right? So that's what we're gonna look for. Okay, so lone pair, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so that's for the second type of for just if the question is asking about bronzolauric base. Okay, so that's the first question. Okay, now let's look at the second question. Okay, so second question regards towards this concept, aphetyric. Okay, aphetyric requires a substance has both. Has a hydrogen, okay, could donate, and also has lone pair, could accept a proton. Okay, so need to have both in the structure. Okay, so choice A apparently doesn't fit because it doesn't have a hydrogen. Okay, and then the second one we already know is acid. Okay, so that acid can only donate a hydrogen but couldn't accept any hydrogens anymore. Okay, so that wouldn't be. Wouldn't be a、uh, aphetyric, okay? So just acid, okay? And then for um, for the third one, okay? So that's ammonium, okay? Ammonium, it 
more nervous structure okay so the Lewis structure looks like this okay so then again in this case can only donate donate the proton okay cannot accept anymore because doesn't have lone pairs okay so that's not good okay so the next one you go well do i have to draw all the loose or draw the loose structure and go from there okay so not necessarily okay so now i we have a shortcut okay so the shortcut will be we know this is actually uh the ion right one of the ions actually coming from phosphoric acid okay so that's h3po4 okay so for the acid phosphoric acid it can we well, are we know it's acid right? so it has hydrogen it could it could donate right has could donate h okay so that's acid we all know that okay and then can keep on going okay so why donate one h where well, it becomes h2po4 minus right okay so that's the first ion okay so this ion the reason why it becomes this because this is because the phosphorus lost a um, proton become this okay so therefore that means for this ion itself the ion itself right okay could definitely could okay accept right it could accept a proton okay and goes back to become the acid okay so that's something we definitely could see that happen okay so if that's the case we definitely know this ion has ability to accept proton so that means it has lone pair is the oxygen one of the oxygen actually has a lone pair and then that's what's bonded with the hydrogen okay so that's that again then we know it could be the base right it has ability to ac accept so that's the base okay and then also at the same time we also recognize there's age right the age ionizable right we can lose another age keep on going become what po4 two minus okay so that means that means this ion itself also has ability to donate age okay so now we say okay this ion in the middle right okay so it has both ability accept the proton and donate the proton then that's the perfect definition for amphoteric okay so now we know this uh this this species right over here could be okay but that that's not what we're looking for and then same logic if we're understanding the logic earlier in case i'm gonna use two different colors now again it be from this arm becomes to this one right so that means this arm allows the proton okay become this and then also again we could totally see from from this out to the two minus the ion has two minus charge right so from here if you go back if you go back how do we go back it needs to accept a proton right okay so you need to accept proton so that means that's a base okay again that's one of the oxygens could uh, has long pairs and could bond with the hydrogen okay so that's how it's going back to this ion okay so then again that's base okay and then the same time again the same logic we recognize this hydrogen we could lose that we could lose that okay so we can donate that h okay so then become the last species that will be po4 three minus okay so by doing this we also recognize hmm that's something we're looking for right for this this ion itself has both ability accept and donate proton okay so then that's also amphoteric okay and then the last one well you go well, what about the last one the last one can only now can only go back away right there's no further there's no hydrogens anymore so this will be this is what what this will be base only okay so then again you see the train goes the middle the middle stages right the middle ones okay they have the ability to accept and donate and so these two are both could be amphoteric okay so but i explain all that but we only really need to know about this guy right that's one of our choice okay so again it could be going both ways in this on this train okay so then that's good okay so then that's why that's our option for this question okay so that's question number two okay so now let's do question number three then i'll stop this video then i'll do another video for the last two questions okay so the next question will be conjugate base of this 
this substance. Okay, so this ion. And we were just talking about it, right? Okay, so now let's think about how do we figure out the answer. Okay, so now we're saying, I, I don't know if you still recall what do we mean by conjugate base of certain substance. Okay, so now I'm going to do a example real quick. Okay, so through this example, I want to explain how you're going to figure out quite uh, questions like this. Okay, just say we were doing this example during the class, right? So I'll just give you the answer because we talk about this will be our base. Okay, so that's our acid in this reaction. Okay, so base, which means it's going to accept the proton, so it becomes ammonium ion. Okay, and then if water is acid, it's good gonna donate a proton becomes a hydroxide ion so this was the reaction okay so again the reaction goes if it's a bronze lowry base after the reaction becomes conjugate acid okay so then there are acid base pair okay so that's how it works okay and then if you have the acid if you have the acid after the reaction it becomes conjugate base Okay, so then this acid base pair. Okay, so that's the acid base conjugate acid base pair. Okay, so that's the pair, and this is the conjugate acid base pair. Okay, so now if we understand that, okay, so now we're thinking, right? So we want to know the conjugate base of this. So again, go, whoa, wait a minute, it's amphoteric, it could be acid and base. So what do we how is acting in this situation then the question itself is giving you the hint so it's saying what's the conjugate base of this substance so means itself needs to be the bronsted lowry acid right in itself needs to be acid then it could have a conjugate base to become a pair with okay so if you know that's acid, right? If it's acid, then what's the role of acid? Acid is going to lose a proton. It's going to donate the proton, okay? So then it's going to have one hydrogen less, okay? So then that's why A will be the choice, okay? So if you have our red R over here, right? So if you go from here, lose a proton, lose a proton, what's going to happen? Become HPO4. 2 minus okay so then again that's the choice a okay so this question actually requires you to understand what we talked about from last class this conjugate acid base pair okay so this is something starting point that you know the logic then you can figure out questions like this quite easily okay so now thank you for listening to this video and then the next video i explain the last two questions okay